What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show and today I want to share with you guys a prison related news story that I just recently ran across and this one is a doozy. This one's pretty damn good. And I hope you guys are going to find this pretty entertaining as well. And I'm not going to waste a whole lot of time with the introduction in this video, so we're going to go ahead and get right into this. And folks, this story takes place in the grand old flyover state of Arkansas. And you know, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know a damn thing about Arkansas. What is actually out in Arkansas? And if any of you guys are from there, no disrespect, but please elaborate and let us know what's good and what's going on out there in that state. Again, this story takes place in the state of Arkansas, and the headline of this story is, Arkansas man seen walking out of court hearing, running away, comma, as jury deliberated. Is there something that you call people from Arkansas? Like, I'm from Arkansas. I'm an Arkansarian. And folks, not only is the headline to this story pretty damn crazy, but there's actually video footage of this event taking place. And we're definitely going to be dissecting that as we continue with this story. But first, I do want to share this with you guys. Uh, this story took place just about a month ago on October the 27th. And the reason why that is so important is because actually as I'm filming this video on November the 20th, today's my birthday. Nothing to do with October the 27th at all. Today, folks is my birthday. And you guys are probably seeing this a couple of days later. What am I doing for my birthday? I'm working. But that's what I enjoy doing, so shout out to that. Now folks, the man in question, the guy who would actually walk out of the court hearing and then run away as the jury deliberated, is an individual by the name of Joey Watts. And I do apologize that I don't have a better picture of this guy. All we have is the side profile picture of this individual. I actually looked for a mugshot of this guy, could not find that. And the only other photos that I found of this guy, Joey Watts, were actually screenshots of the video of this guy walking away from the courtroom. And also right here looking behind him to see if anybody's coming after him in pursuit. An Arkansas man facing charges of aggravated assault and felony possession of a firearm was captured on video casually walking out of a courtroom down the hall and out of an Arkansas courthouse on Monday as the jury was deliberating his case. My God, where we could go from here, folks, it's always at the beginning of the story where this can go in so many different directions. But let's just start with taking a right turn. Folks, this man absolutely knew what time it was. He was facing charges for aggravated assault. And that's a big boy felony right there. That's going to carry some time. And also felony possession of a firearm. Two charges that were probably guaranteed to be sending this guy to prison. Now, we don't know what this guy's previous criminal history was. Was he already a convicted felon? Was he on parole or probation? Or was this his first time getting in trouble? I like to believe that it's probably the former, and this guy had a track record probably as long, well, as mine is. And the reason I think that is because I don't think anybody who's never been in trouble before would do, you know what, that doesn't make any sense either because they could be scared. So, you know, there's really no telling what this guy's previous criminal history was. Were these his first charges ever in his lifetime or had he been in trouble numerous times, a career mess up, sort of like how I used to be. And, you know, just judging by his picture, let's just get completely stereotypical with this profile image of this guy, the only picture we have of this individual in question, Joey Watts. I'm going to be absolutely judgmental and say he looks like all he does is get in trouble. But regardless of what his prior criminal history was, this man realized while the jury was deliberating that he was facing time in prison. And whether he had been there before or never been there at all, this man wasn't about to wait and see what was about to happen. Surveillance footage showed Joey Watts sitting next to his attorney while on trial at the Grant County Courthouse in Sheridan. He then got up and walked out of the courtroom down the stairs down the hallway where he said something to his family waiting nearby. Down the hall, down the hallway. What was his family doing down there and not in the courtroom where, he, where, where his court case was taking place at? Were they potentially in on this plan? Was this premeditated? I don't believe that was the case at all. I mean, they probably just didn't want to see what was about to happen. So they decided to wait down the hall, down the stairs. But the story says with the surveillance footage, you know, they were able to see this guy, Joey Watts, mouthing something to his family prior to leaving the building. I want to pause right here and just ask you guys, you know, what do you think that he said? Because if you ask me, he probably told his family, what am I doing outside the courtroom? Y'all thought I was going to prison. 
Hey, they let me go scot-free. Yeah, I'm going to meet you over there in Mexico. And again, I ask all of you, what do you think that he said to his family prior to leaving the courthouse? The jury had already convicted Watts on the assault charge when he decided to make a run for it, and the deputy prosecutor said that Watts' attorney had not encouraged had not encouraged him making a run for it, I'm guessing what they mean. Can you imagine that being the case? You're sitting up in a courtroom, you're facing two big boy felony charges, both of those carry prison time, and your lawyer just turns to you and says something like, hey look man, I tried my best. I'm a public defender, what did you honestly expect? I'm a public defender. Look, hey, they about to smoke your boots. You might, you might wanna try to get up out of here. You might wanna test your luck. And you know, when I first ran across this story, folks, there were a lot of analogies and metaphors that came to mind as I was watching this video of this man just casually walking out of the court building. No police behind him, no pursuit whatsoever. And one of the analogies that came to mind are metaphors or whatever it is, it's something that is oftentimes said in relation to basketball, and that is, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And Joey Watts was not about to miss this shot. He was at least gonna try to make it. But unfortunately for him, and like pretty much anybody else that we ever do a story about with anything even close to this, do you honestly think that he made it? He didn't. That joint was a straight air ball. But I do like how this story says that, you know, the, the attorney did not encourage this at all. I wonder why they threw that in here. Like, would anybody actually be thinking that this guy, Joey Watts' attorney, had you know, even suggested such a thing. Joey, it's not looking good. Usually when the jury takes this long, basically what they're doing back in deliberation is they're taking all the change out of their pocket. If anybody even walks around with change or money anymore, they take all of the change out of their pocket, they throw it up in the air, let it hit the ground, and then they count that. And however much that change equals is how much time they're about to give you in prison. That's how many years. You ought to try your luck and make a run for it because like in basketball, you miss 100% of the chances. You don't take. Now again, Watts was facing time for and in court for aggravated assault and felony possession of a firearm. You may be wondering to yourself, what did this man do? Well, the story would go on to say Watts was accused of using a shotgun <laughs> to threaten a woman in his home. You know, I get that you really want to get your point across and this is probably in such poor taste, so forgive me. You just can't be doing nothing like that. Swallow your pride, get over yourself, and out of your feelings, and st like, this man deserved to go to prison. You cannot be threatening people with no weapon. This happened back in November of 2018, and this man was waiting a year to get sentenced because he had already been found guilty. Now, one of the most crazy things about all of this is the fact that this guy, Joey Watts, making sure I say his name right and making sure I remember his name. Uh, this guy had been out on bond the entire time waiting his sentencing. And they say that that's what allowed him to walk around freely. And also, as you can see in this video footage of him just getting up and walking out of the courtroom. Like, how is this even happening? Did he say to the judge as they were waiting on the jury to come back in, I just gotta go, I gotta, I gotta go use the bathroom like a number two. I, I gotta, you know, I'm just out of here. Y'all ain't even paying me no mind. They let this man just walk slam out the courtroom. And nobody, like, did anybody say, hey, yo, where you going? Hey, what day? This is right here. You gotta be, you going to prison. Nobody said nothing to this man. But they mentioned the fact that this guy was out on bond and wearing his own, you know, clothing as basically an excuse for how this was allowed to happen. They say mainly the fact that he was not in custody and was not an inmate at the time. That gave him the freedom to move around throughout the courthouse and things like that, somebody had said, I think it was the sheriff's office chief deputy, as who said that. He added the court didn't have a second bailiff, which that's pretty crazy, there was only one bailiff. What was he doing during the time that Joey Watts just got up and said, hey, I'm a, uh, I got a Grubhub uh, order up, you know, it's my last meal, my last will and testimony. Um, I'm gone. What was the only bailiff, the one bailiff that they had in there? What was he doing during the time? Was he on his phone, playing on his mobile device? Something that you're not even allowed to have up in a courtroom? Was he on Plenty of Fish? Possibly playing Angry Birds? They mentioned because this man was out on bond and because he was wearing his own clothes and because he was not an inmate and he was allowed to move freely throughout the courthouse. And also the fact that there was only one bailiff. All of these things combined are what led to the headline an Arkansonian walked out of a court hearing, running away, as the jury deliberated.
They also said the circuit court is now in the process of hiring a new bailiff to prevent something like this from ever happening again, uh, but that they have not done that yet. Now you might be wondering, as I did when I first saw the video of this taking place and read this story, like how long did this guy actually remain on the run? And like pretty much any other story that we've ever shared here in relation to an escape, you already know it wasn't that long at all. And in fact, they said Watts was apprehended on Tuesday evening. This was taking place on a Monday. He might have been out there almost a day. He was apprehended on Tuesday evening and found guilty of both charges the very next day. Roberts, who is the chief deputy, said three others have been facing charges for allegedly helping him and he believed that more arrests will follow. I wonder if those three other people were part of his family who was waiting down the hall, down the stairs. And I wonder how many more arrests are actually going to come from this. This man had an entire team waiting for him in an effort to help him orchestrate this walking out of a courtroom in an effort to escape. This guy wasn't even an inmate yet and he was escaping. Which actually brings up a damn good point. Like, this can't be an escape charge because he was not an inmate. He just walked away and said, no way, I am uh, I ain't ready to do this. I'm not, I'm not even an inmate. I'm in my own clothes. I can walk around in my own accord. So that's really crazy. I wonder if they could give this guy an escape charge for this, and I don't think that they could. But they said that he was found guilty the very next day. And for that, this guy was actually sentenced to... 36 years in prison. Let that sink in for a second. No wonder this guy walked away. Shit me, I'd have ran out of that courtroom. But give old Joey Watts a little credit right here. He's a smooth criminal Michael Jackson song. Or Alien Ant Farm song. He is a smooth criminal. This guy straight up just got up in the middle of a court hearing. A court hearing about him. All eyes on him, Tupac. And just moseyed up out of there. The one bailiff playing Angry Birds. Possibly didn't even see him. This man wanted to play a game of hide and go seek. Catch me if you can. Like the gingerbread man. And as smooth as butter, this man got up out of that courtroom. Walked down them halls, down flights of stairs, down however far he had to walk. Looking behind him every so often. Probably just as amazed as all of us are who are watching the video and reading this story. That there was nobody ever behind him. He had enough time to speak with his family and ask them, y'all gonna write me, right? Because I'm leaving. They're gonna have to catch me when they catch me. And then he was gone. Gone with the wind. When they finally caught up with this guy the very next day, they found him guilty. I probably misspoke earlier saying that this guy had already been found guilty and was awaiting his sentencing because they said that the very next day after they caught up with him, they found him guilty right then and there. Boy, you guilty. And then they sentenced him to 36 years in prison, 10 years for the assault charge, and 26 years for the possession of a firearm. You miss 100% of the chances that you don't take. And you know what? Joey Watts, he missed his chance far before. Way back yonder, prior to this court date, back before November 29th of 2018, way back before that, right before that, as a matter of fact. Joey Watts missed his shot, and his shot was, he shouldn't have done what he did in the first damn place. He received 36 years in prison for this. And I want to ask all of you, you know, do you think that that's a little, a little extreme? Or is that just right? Just what the doctor ordered. If you ask me... I think it's a little, I think it's a little extreme. Folks, I really want to hear what you guys think about all of this, and I hope that you enjoyed this video as well. And if you guys did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you think. As always, until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted, and make the most of every day. Peace!